In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a community in Circle, that's circle.so.so. It's a community platform that I use for my own community, both the Convology Pro community and just the Convology community memberships, and how you can connect that to your WordPress-based website and use just one single login between your WordPress site and your circle community. That means you can have a course or membership platform and sell products, whether it be with Thrive Apprentice and Surecart or Thrivecart, whatever it is you're using, whatever it is you're doing over on your WordPress-based website where customers log in and access something, that same login can get them logged in over at your circle community. And it's incredibly easy to do. So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so the functionality that we're really looking to build here is the ability to have someone log into your WordPress site. For my example here, this is my, my member dashboard, and this is for my courses and membership website that I've built in Thrive Apprentice. So a user has to log in with a WordPress login to my website. Now, the next step is for them to be able to, once logged in here, be able to just immediately go over to my circle community with the click of a button without ever having to enter in additional credentials. They click on community and it loads directly into our circle community instantly right away. Step one, we need to add a plugin to our website. So go into plugins, add new, and do a search for WP OAuth server. The one that we're looking for is actually the one that circle recommends directly in their knowledge base. And that is the WP OAuth server OAuth authentication by WP OAuth server. Just click install now. It'll take just a few seconds and then you can click activate. Next, you need to find OAuth server on the left-hand side and go to settings because you have to enable OAuth server and click save changes. Great, now we can go to clients and click add new client and make sure that authorization code is checked. For client name, we can call that whatever we want. This is just to identify for us what we're connecting. I'm going to just call mine circle. And for the redirect URL, you're going to get this redirect URL from circle inside of your account. Let me show you where you get that. Inside of circle, you need to navigate to the settings gear on the left, go to single sign on, and you're going to want to choose WordPress WP OAuth here. Now we need to copy this callback URL. It's the same for all the communities. It's whatever your subdomain is, your domain is for your community, and then slash OAuth2 slash callback. We just need to copy that and bring that back over into WordPress. So with that copied and pasted back in here, we just need to click create client. As soon as you click create client, what's happened is it's given you and it's populated the client ID and the client secret keys. We need to copy both of those keys and bring them back over to circle and paste them in. We just add those directly to the client ID and to the secret ID respectively. Now with those keys pasted in, you can scroll back up to the top. Don't hit save just yet. I'm going to give you two options here. The first one, you need to enable SSO. This is what's going to make this community of yours now rely upon the settings that you've set up with your WP OAuth server on your WordPress site. But I also recommend, at least in the beginning, make sure you toggle on the ability to allow members with a Circle account to sign in. This is only for your initial testing purposes to ensure that you don't get locked out of your account. Once you've ensured that everything works and your login via your WordPress website logs you into your community, then you're good to go. You can turn this back off. And I'll make just another Warning here, just make sure that the email that you use with your Circle account is the same email that has an admin login or, or it's your same admin login on your WordPress site. That'll just avoid a couple of different headaches. I know in one of my communities, I have a couple Circle communities. I know in one of them, the admin email was not the same and I had to like work my way back into my own account to set things back up again. Now, as we scroll back down, before we click Save Changes, we do have these two additional fields. If you didn't pick up on them earlier, after entering our client ID and our secret key here, we have these two other fields. The first one is what you want to call the provider name. That's basically what you want to call this method of single sign-on. So when a user comes to your, your community, and let's say they go directly to the community and they don't log into the WordPress site first. They're not logged in at all. They're going to be given an option for them to log in and they can choose what option to log in with. If you've given them the option to log in using different methods like their circle account or the OAuth single sign on from your site. 
So for me, I kept it simple. I only let users log into my community with their membership in my website. So that means my button just says they're going to log in with my Convology account. And then the last option here is the WordPress OAuth URL. This is just the full URL to your website. So in my case, it's on my subdomain. That's members.convology.com with the full URL, the HTTPS colon slash slash. And once you have all those things done, you just click save changes and we are done inside of Circle. Now the final step that you'll need to take care of, this is one that I definitely recommend, is coming back to your WordPress site. If you go to the Thrive Dashboard, under Thrive Dashboard, Thrive Dashboard, and you scroll down, you find the WordPress login screen branding, you're going to want to click on Manage Login Screen, and you are going to want to customize this so that it is custom to your brand and it doesn't just look like that, that default WordPress login screen. And the reason you're customizing this is because this login screen is the one that circle will send people to to log in if they're not logged in because the WP OAuth server, it doesn't know anything about Thrive. It doesn't know anything about Elementor or any of these other things. It just knows about WordPress. So it's looking for that WordPress login. And so it's going to send them to something that looks really WordPressy. If you don't come in, activate this and then click edit with Thrive Architect and then customize, you'll see mine comes up here in a second, and then customize to look like whatever you want. I mean, mine just really simple, put in some of my like Convology stuff that I like. And now when they log in, they see my Convology branding and not WordPress. So let's take a look at how this would work. I have accessed my community, I've logged out first, and here is that login screen. So notice that it says continue with my Convology account. Remember my Convology account is what I put inside of that field. And then by default, you're able to control this in your settings inside of Circle. It says, not a member, click here, learn more and join. And that just takes people to my pro membership page. Let's go ahead and click the continue with my Convology account and see what happens. Now for me, I was instantly logged in. And that's because I was already logged in on my WordPress website. But let's log out of both places and see what happens if I try to log in again. So I'm going to, in the upper right hand corner, click sign out. All right, I'm signed out here and now I'm going back to my WordPress site and I'm going to sign out there too. Okay, I'm signed out of everywhere now. Let's click continue. And here we go. We're brought to my login screen that I customized with my own branding instead of WordPress. And this is just my normal WordPress login. This is how I would log in as an admin. I'm going to enter my email and my password. It's going to redirect me back to my community. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up Circle with WordPress and creating a single sign-on workflow so that your users don't have to get a Circle account. They don't have to have two different logins, one to your community and one to your website to access your courses. It's just super simple. It's one login. I guess that's two. It's one login and they can access your courses website where you have all your membership content or things that you've built in Thrive Apprentice or honestly, whatever you're using with your website. And that same login bridges the gap over to Circle where your users can access the discussion over there or whatever it is you're using Circle for, for your community. So as you've seen in this video, Convology runs on Circle. If you're interested in joining our private community, I'll put a link down below that you can check out and learn more.